Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and the world of digital humans is one step closer to reality today. You may recall back in February, uh, they announced at Epic Games a sneak peek of MetaHuman Creator. Well, today, we now have an early access launch. In addition to that, we also have something like 50 new MetaHumans that we can go ahead and play with. We can use them in Unreal Engine, we can use them in Blender, Max, Maya, you name it. Uh, that is what is available today. First, however, we have a quick word from the sponsor of this video, Deep Motion. Now, Deep Motion makes a product called Animate 3D. If you're a regular this channel, you may have already seen it. I covered it back in December. It's an excellent uh, service that enables you to upload to their website and have your video turned into an animation. A single video, no multiple references, just one video, and it can actually create a full 3D animation. You can export that out as FBX to use in your own game engine, also BVH, GLB, or MP4. It's updated constantly, so since I did that video in December, there have been a number of different updates and one of the biggest updates is the new avatar generator so you can actually create your own 3d characters up to 200 customization objects that you apply your animations to it is completely free to use up to 60 seconds you can get a lot of animations out of 60 seconds a month but even better use my code down below game from scratch and you get double that when you sign up also there is a contest going on runs through april the 30th so we can win thousands in cash and prizes just by creating animation no purchase necessary so check out the links down below all right, let's continue on. So here we are over at the Epic Games or Unreal Engine blog. We're going to scroll on down here. You're going to see some details. Back in February, I offered you a sneak peek at MetaHuman Creator, our new tool for creating high-fidelity, fully-rigged digital humans in minutes, providing two free sample MetaHumans for you to try for yourself. Excited to announce that we are opening up an early access program for MetaHuman Creator so you can create your own unique MetaHumans and download them for use in Unreal Engine or in further editing in DCC applications such as Autodesk Maya, also Blender, by the way. Uh, also, as the catch here is this is a cloud-based application. You are running this on Epic Games servers. Uh, they are bringing people on board over the next couple of days. So while you can apply today, it doesn't mean you're going to get in instantly. Also, do know I will do a follow-up hands-on video once I actually get in and I can show you it in action. I'm in the same queue you guys are, unfortunately. Well, we are all in this together. So also, you can see here, for those who just want to get uh, going right away with Unreal Engine, we're also providing 50 ready-made metahumans for you to download and use in your projects directly from Quixel Bridge. If you don't know what Quixel Bridge is, it is an excellent application. It is also already installed over here. This is a kind of uh, bridge ha, 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 uh, between, say, your texture library, uh, the Quixel Megascans library, and now metahumans. So you come in here, you load up Quixel Bridge, you will notice there is now a metahumans category, and there are a number of metahumans uh, available. So you can grab any particular one of these, go ahead and download it and use it in your application of choice. I, for example, downloaded this fellow. Uh, you'll see here it comes down and your choice is 8K resolution or 8K resolution. Yeah, these things are gigantic, unfortunately. Just one of those things uh, to be aware of when you check them out. So here is the directory. And what are we looking at here? All right, so DHI right there, right click and properties. Yeah, two gigabytes a piece. <laughs> so just one of those things to be aware of. Uh, they are a rather sizable download, but if you've got it ready to go, uh, you can pull it out into uh, MetaHuman Creators if you are in that program for editing, or you can export these out. For example, you can see this one is currently exporting out to Unreal Engine. That is going to take forever to get up and going. There's going to be all the shaders and such it needs to handle, so we are not going to do that today. Just do be aware right now, these are the MetaHumans that you can go ahead and play with. These things are fully rigged, ready to go. Uh, in the, the initial uh, MetaHuman video, I looked at one of the two freebies that they gave you to play around with. They are incredibly high fidelity uh, and, as I said, fully rigged, fully ready for animation. So these are really, really capable humans. So uh, it, it's impressive. It's huge. Like I said, two gigabytes a piece. But you can bring them down using Bridge, and then you can export them out to your tool of choice. By the way, with Bridge, you can set up uh, several other tools for exporting. Uh, so you could set this up to go to, um, you can have it export out to Max Maya Blender or so on. Uh, so Bridge is not an Unreal Engine only tool. 
All right, so that is the uh, initial announcement here. Uh, there's not a whole lot more to go from. You can go ahead and do the find out more. Find out more is also where you will go to go and do the application. Uh, there's also some documentation to get you up and going. So we got a get it starting guide that kind of walks you through what the web tool and how it works and how to use it. Uh, so if you do get into the program, there is documentation on how to work with it. It's actually a pretty straightforward setup. So you see here, it's broken down into categories. If you've used any character creator in the past, you've got an idea of what you are working with here. So you set up the skin, the face, the eye, the hair, and so on, the body, the tops, the bottom, the shoes, and... Uh, then it kind of creates your character. So uh, there is full documentation here. So once you're in, but you can see you get a huge amount of control over uh, hairstyles, body types, body styles. Uh, but it is, uh, from what I have seen, again, I'm not in there as of yet, but from what I've seen, it looks like a fairly simple to use program, but you can get a diverse amount enough of results that it doesn't look the same, you know, it doesn't look like, uh, let's say, the monstrosities you could create in like Fallout, for example. Um, Again, if you want to go in, you click that read more and then you go into the request access section. Uh, that will bring you into uh, this form right here, which interestingly enough, even though you're logged in and it knows who you are, you need to fill out your information once again, and then you just go ahead and submit and hopefully you get into the program. Uh, so that is MetaHuman Creator, high fidelity digital humans made easy. Again, they're running this entirely cloud-based. I think we're gonna see more and more of that in the future. Uh, it also is the accumulation of a number of companies that Epic Games purchased over the years. Uh, so they bought three lateral and cubic motion in the past. They seem to be the team that was working on that. They were the ones behind uh, lifelike humans in the past. That's kind of what those companies were all about creating. And you can see uh, easy and fun, huge variable, um, physically pl uh, plausible in that they've got realistic skin, realistic hair, and so on. All the data that you need is in there. You can modify it to your heart's content. It's rigged for animation, including facial animations, and it is real-time ready. So you have multiple LODs. So even though they are, they, the source assets are gigantic, you can spit out a version of it that it would be appropriate for a mobile game potentially because of those multiple LODs. So you've got eight LODs levels here so you can run this on Android or Xbox Series X or PS5 or a high-end PC and as I mentioned earlier on there are 50 ready-made metahumans already ready to go in Quixel Bridge you do not need to get into the program to get access to this basically just head on over to Bridge uh, download it for free log in with your Unreal um, user credentials and you can start with any one of these guys basically just pick one of them and then export it out to your tool of choice again they're about two gigabytes a piece so do have some space available if you want to check this out and also again stay tuned once I do get into the program I will um, do a, a more in-depth hands-on with it I will create a couple characters give you an idea what it's all about uh, so if you want to do stay tuned for that if you haven't already do hit that subscribe button that will be coming up very soon and yeah also uh, thank you for uh, deep motion for sponsoring this video it's very much appreciated check them out they're an awesome awesome tool to check out as well so you got all kinds of great things to do today all right that's it what do you think uh, do you think we've passed the uncanny valley here or, or do you think they still look uh digitally to you. I, I think we're there. I, I think the Uncanny Valley, other than the only thing that's kind of getting me, and it's because they all have the same stares. There's a, a dead eye stare, and that's going to be one of the hardest things for digital humans to conquer. Uh, but when you see these actually moving, uh, it goes away. So is this there? Are, are we at lifelike humans here for real-time games, or do we still have some steps to go? Let me know what you think. Comments down below, and I will talk to you all later. All right, that's it for now. Goodbye.